uh, looks like a Remington UMC. Well, it's no, no, it says a uh, U. It says nightclub 12 gauge uh, shotgun. Let's see, UMC company. And I'll get back with you on my next fight. Well, I just dug out a little coin here. I'm not exactly sure what it is. This has made a. Looks like it might be a dime, but I thought it was a little. It's all. It's got a little patina, green patina to it. Yeah, it looks like it's just gonna be a regular old dime. About the wind here is a little windy, but uh, if you see right here, I've got a little buckle. Still has a strap with it, and check and see if I can get get it all out together. Looks like it might be a a buckle for a pet. Anyways, I'll see if I can get it out of there. Yep, yeah, it's some type of buckle. See right there, it still has the the leather with it. Let's see if I can get the rest of it out. Let's see if there's anything else in there. I guess there's something else in there. Let me see if I can dig it out. Nope. Yeah, it's a doorknob. Deadbolt lock. Anyways. Like I said, it's a belt buckle. Some sort. See you on my next one. Got me a 1957D wheat penny. See what else we can find. Give me another wheat cent here. Not exactly sure what the year is. It's kind of dirty there. Crusted. Anyways, another wheat scent. Alright, so it looks like I get to add another nozzle to my collection. That's probably number seven in my collection. Anyways, I'm glad to have it. I'm always glad to dig up these nozzles. Make sure we man and then get them back. In. See, it says, uh, solid brass solid brass anyways I'm glad to have it see if I can put it back to use again see you on the next one this is signal 8384 on the AT Pro and I dig this uh, up and out pops another nozzle. This is a much bigger one. Anyways, I am glad to have another nozzle. Let's see if I can get a name on it. There is a name on there. This is, says... Uh, so hard to see. I uh, I'll see if I can put something together and uh, get a name off of it. This is uh, Gil Gilmore's son. I don't. Know. I'm glad to have it. Took myself a foreign coin here. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get a date on it and see what it is. Canadian. 
Canadian coin. George. Uh, anyways, I'll get back with you on my next find. Next to the uh, next to the sidewalk, I'm getting a uh, nickel signal, and as I dig it, I notice this uh, comes out of the plug here. I've got a 1943 war nickel. I'm glad to have it. Silver number one for the day. Get this signal. It's a wheat cent. And uh, I do see it there. It says wheat, wheat cent, one cent. And I really can't get a date off of it. Uh, let me see. I might be able to here. 40 something. It looks like it's a 46, I believe. See if I can get something else. So uh, right here next to the curb, I get this uh, 8182, which I'm pretty sure it's uh, probably a rosy, but I'd be happy if it was a Merc. But I've got it right here, and it is a Merc. Let me get my uh, my fufu here. It is a Merc. I see the back of it, and I recognize a Merc. It's a 1941 Merc, Mercury Dime. See if I can uh, find anything else. I'll get back with y'all if I do. 1941 Mercury Dime. So I uh, got myself a key, General Motors key. And I am glad to have it because I am a General Motors employee and I always like finding something to do with General Motors, Chevrolet, GM, Cadillac, anything that has to do with uh, General Motors. And I'll see if I can find anything else. Looks like I've got silver number two coin for the day. And it looks like I barely cut it. It's a 1964 Rosie. I'm happy to have it. 64 Rosie. Where I dug the Rosie, I dug the Rosie right here. And I go to check the plug again to make sure that uh, I wasn't missing anything. I get a decent, really good signal right here. Kind of choppy. I move the dirt around. And I've got this quarter see if I can get some fufu juice on it so that way I can get uh, a date off of it and it appears to be 1962 1962 quarter D mark D mint Happy to have it. See if I can get back with y'all. All right, so I'm getting an 8990 right here. I can see it. I am not going to uh, dig it with my uh, with my shovel simply because I see how shiny it is, and I don't want to. I don't want to hit it, but. It looks like it's it says 1968 Christian Texas Christian University. It's a uh, looks like a token. It is a token. Man, I was hoping for big silver. It says a uh, humble SW broadcaster 1968 35th anniversary. Inco and it's got a bunch of dates on the back. Anyways, I am happy to have that. Glad to put that in my pocket. <laughs>